Hello students, let us study the relationship between zeros and coefficients of a quadratic polynomial. You know, the standard form of quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c, where a, b, c are real numbers and a not equal to 0. As we have learned earlier, a quadratic polynomial can have at most two zeros. Let the zeros of this quadratic polynomial be alpha and beta. If alpha is a zero of this quadratic polynomial in x, then by factor theorem we can write x minus alpha is a factor. Also x minus beta is also a factor. Thus, the given quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c can be written as a constant k into x minus alpha into x minus beta, where k is a constant, k can take any value, whatever may be the value of k, the zeros of the polynomial remain same. Now, expanding this by the formula, x minus a into x minus b, this can be written as x minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta. Again, opening the bracket, kx minus k into alpha plus beta into x plus k into alpha beta. As the quadratic polynomial, both ax square plus bx plus c is equal to kx square minus k into alpha plus beta into x plus k alpha beta. We can equate the terms, that is like terms, ax square is equal to kx square. Dividing by x square, we get a is equal to k or we write k is equal to Similarly, equating the linear term, linear term bx on the left hand side is equal to minus k into alpha plus beta into x. Dividing by x on both sides, we get b is equal to minus a into alpha plus beta because the value of k is a from equation 1. From this we can write alpha plus beta is equal to minus b upon a. This is the one of the relation between zeros and coefficients of a quadratic polynomial. Alpha is a 0, beta is a 0, then alpha plus beta is sum of the zeros. So we can write sum of zeros of the quadratic polynomial is equal to minus b that is b is the coefficient of x so minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of x square a is the coefficient of x square now equating the constant we have c is the constant on left hand side constant on right hand side is k into alpha beta so it is c is equal to k into alpha beta but from first equation we have k is equal to a so it becomes c is equal to a into alpha beta therefore alpha beta is equal to c upon a alpha beta alpha and beta are the zeros of the polynomial therefore alpha beta is also equal to product product of zeros of the quadratic polynomial is equal to c c we have defined as a constant in that expression upon a a is a coefficient of x square so these two thus we got two relation sum of zeros is equal to minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of x square and product of zeros is equal to 
constant upon coefficient of x square as we have considered the polynomial is in x if the polynomial is in y the sum of zeros will become minus coefficient of y upon coefficient of y square and product of zeros will be constant upon coefficient of y square so depending upon the variable we will change that that is the relation between zeros and coefficients of a quadratic polynomial let, let, let us also see the relationship between zeros and coefficients of a cubic polynomial as the degree of cubic polynomial is 3 it can have 3 zeros let it be alpha beta and gamma then as before ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d can be written as k into x minus alpha into x minus beta into x minus gamma simplifying this we get k into x cube minus alpha plus beta plus gamma into x square plus alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma the whole into x minus alpha beta gamma then comparing and equating the coefficients we get the sum of the zeros as before in quadratic polynomial sum of the zeros alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b upon a that is the same as b in this polynomial coefficient of x square so we write minus coefficient of x square upon a stands for coefficient of x coefficient of x cube second is the alpha beta beta gamma alpha gamma that is sum of the sum of the zeros sum of the product of zeros taken two at a time alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma is equal to c upon a that is c for coefficient of x upon coefficient of a coefficient of x cube a for coefficient of x cube and again product of zeros alpha beta gamma is equal to minus d by a d is the constant so minus constant upon denominator is a a is coefficient of x cube thus we get the three relationship as the relationship between zeros and coefficients sum of zeros alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus coefficient of x square upon coefficient of x cube sum of the product of zeros taken two at a time that is alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma is equal to coefficient of x upon coefficient of x cube and product of zeros is equal to minus constant upon coefficient of x cube